J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Here we are looking for this expression that is a inverse raised to the 3n power. And a inverse has been computed from the previous slide. And so we will do a little bit of manipulation given this relationship here so that we can find this expression a little bit more easily. We begin with a given relationship. If we do that, then the first step we can do is to multiply on the right the expression, the cube of the matrix inverse. So if we do that here and do that here, we notice that on the right side, we just get negative 4 times the cube of the matrix inverse. Because the identity matrix here does not really affect the multiplication. On this side, However, we notice that the two a's will cancel the two inverses here, and so we're left with this one. And the two here is carried, and again here we have one a, and that will cancel one of the inverses here, and so we are left with this bit. And now we are looking for the nth power of this expression. And so we divide both sides by negative 4. And so we obtain this. Now we just have to raise this to n. And the same is true on this side. Before we do that, we will try to simplify this side of the equation. And the way we do that is first we obtain this. And then we also obtain this. And then combine them into a single matrix. First, we Get this in the, in the next slide. That is straightforward because we already know from problem 2 2 that the matrix inverse is given by this. And so if we just multiply negative 1 one fourth, we get the first term of the expression in the previous slide. And so this is the matrix that we're looking for. Now we need to look for the second term. The second term. Is just this. This expression is the second term, and so we first need to look for the square of the inverse, and this is just matrix product. We already know the matrix inverse from the previous problem, and so we just replace the values here, and we do the matrix product, and we multiply by negative one half, and we obtain this. Now we can combine this matrix. With the matrix in the previous slide to obtain the third power of the matrix inverse. So here we have the matrix inverse. Here we just replaced the original expression that, that we wanted with the product, or rather with the matrix that we obtained in the previous slides. And the same is true for this bit. And what remains is just a simplification. We notice that. 1 over 16 is common, so we can factor that out in here. And we notice that we have 1, 1, that's 2. This and this cancel to be 0. This and this cancel to be 0. And 1 plus 1 is again 2. So we can again factor out the 2. And so 2 over 16 is just 1 eighth. And here we have an identity matrix. So that if we raise this to the nth power and raise this to the nth power, We get this on this side, and on this side, we get this raised to the nth power and i raised to the nth power. But again, i is an identity matrix, and so raising it to any power will just give it back. And so finally, this expression is actually equal to this. If you learned something new today, Please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! J Hat Juku. Please hit subscribe.